we're joined in studio by Vanessa Perotta. Thanks so much for being with us, Doctor. We call her News Breakfast Whale Woman. She joins us now. People often talk about whales as ocean sentinels or watchguards of our ocean or the canary in the coal mine. And I've been fortunate enough to have spent time with these beautiful creatures. For the first time in Australia, a mass supergroup feeding event of humpback whales was observed last year. Seeing whales use bubble nets to feed is just phenomenal and we're very excited in the whale world right around the world. I can tell you're a tad excited better, so just a small <laughs> amount. Uh, Doctor, welcome. Uh, how does something like this happen? We don't know. Strandings are a complete mystery. So why these animals were in the area is a question. And Tasmanian authorities are doing an amazing job and have been through the night. Let's hope today those skills and the teamwork and the coordination comes together to save at least a few individuals. We will be using our purpose-built drones to sample their lung bacteria. So they breathe air like you and I. We can fly the drone through that to collect their lung bacteria to learn more about their health internally. On behalf of everyone that's watching tonight, why this not? Well, <laughs> we can't ask a whale to present its flipper for a COVID test or a blood sample. Yeah. So this is the next best thing. So, oh my what God. on earth possesses you to do this for a living? Oh well, it's funny the things you do when you start a PhD. I went down the snot track. Why don't whales have teeth like we do? Wildlife scientist Vanessa Perotta joins us now from Sydney Harbour. Good morning, Vanessa. Tell us, have we finally found Megaloo? Where is Megaloo? Why, why has he, is he ghosting us? Yeah. We don't know. He could yeah. be in Australian waters, he could be down in Antarctica, or he could be across the Dutch and New Zealand. We just don't know. Are mega sharks real? <laughs> That is the million dollar question, isn't it? They don't swim around, so don't worry, they're long they're, they're gone. gone. Okay. But these animals are not actively out to get people, so that's very important to know. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Terry Irwin. Terry, this is Leah. Oh, Dr. Vanessa, thank you very much for making this all happen. I'm really excited to meet Leah, and we definitely need more women and girls involved in science. Ask questions, talk to scientists. We're not scary, we're approachable, and <laughs> social media is. I can vouch great. for that. You've been very approachable. We have great right. shoes too. Come on. And great, we have great <laughs> and shoes. Great don't get stalky. Hi, big brief. When the camera's always down.